Hey guys, how are you? New video today. If you drew the three Greek column types, we are going to now make a Greek temple. Simple drawing. Um, here we go. And you're gonna have fun with this. This is a good one. So as usual, when we're drawing, we wanna start with the baseline or the ground, and it can be a little bit wavy. Again, remember to work um, landscape direction or horizontal. We're gonna draw a base up here, okay? So watch this. It's like drawing a, I like to think of this as like a birthday cake. You go up. And over. You could use a ruler if you like. Doesn't bother me. Up and over, but I really, some of you guys are drawing these things on the computer, and I really don't think that's as interesting. So here we go. I'm going to draw some Doric columns here. So how do you make a Doric column? What the heck? There's no bases, right? These are easy. I'm going to go like this. I'm just going to eyeball how many I can fit. So first I'm going to just fit the, the drums, the column part. And I'm just going to see how many I could fit across here. Probably only four. Let's see. Here's two. Three. Four. And you can see, sometimes I start at the top, and sometimes I start at the bottom. Whatever you need to keep it kind of symmetrical, right? And remember, the capital goes up and then around. It's like a pillow that's getting squashed, right? Up and then around. Up and then around. Well, that scared me up and around with the square top. Square top. Square top. And a square top. And that's pretty much like the hard part. What's cool I think about Greek temples is what they would do now to finish the temple is put a big block here, and the block would go from the center of this to the center of this column, okay? And it would connect across. So it would go from the center of this to the center of that, to the center of this, to the center of that, all right? So you already have a kind of a temple, okay? Now I'm gonna get, I'm getting a little squashed here. It's a little too bad. I think I'm gonna grab a ruler to do this because I'm gonna show you a trick. I remember now what I did yesterday. Let me get my ruler out. If I can find it. The middle, I'm gonna measure the middle of this. This is, it's about seven inches. So three and a half is half a seven. So that's where the, the beginning of my roof should go, in the middle. So watch this. I'm gonna go like this. Like that. And then I'm, gonna, I'm leaving a little room on the bottom, you might notice, on purpose, to do the bottom part, because then you gotta do it again. Okay. You gotta do it again. Close that in. Close that in. And what's cool about these temples is they had roofs that people still use today. They just had like clay tiles on the roof. And I've shown you guys videos of the roofs and you see that orange kind of color on the roof. Those are just clay tiles, like the clay we use in class. It's the same color, right? It's, they call that, uh, it's like orange terracotta, right? If you don't know that, terra means earth. 